regardless of loss. Many items sold at even below cost. Heirloom quality area rugs are 70% off, and everything is in stock and ready to go. You pay pennies on the dollar during the final phase at Wickman's Lifestyle Furniture and Mattress. After more than a decade, going out of business forever. Life is uncertain. Everyday pressures can feel overwhelming. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. It's normal. With CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources, it's easy to get the help you and your loved ones need when you need it the most. Call our warm line at 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 5 a.m., dozens of candles being lit in memory of a teenager who was killed when a stabbing suspect crashes into a group of students. We're following the crime spree that ended in tragedy in Thousand Oaks. And what will the Supreme Court say about the ban on the abortion pill? I'm Tony Cabrera, and we'll have a look at what's expected to happen in court today. There's a new fallout from the looting and street takeovers that are swarming the streets of Compton. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Leslie Seitz along with John Gregory and Rachel Brown. It's Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. Let's check in with Leslie Lopez to see how our weather is Finally, looking. Finally, getting through that Wednesday. Good morning, everybody. We're back to 69 degrees today. If you are heading out towards downtown Los Angeles, you know, over into downtown Inland Empire Valley communities, we're going to see some really nice weather today. Some 60s and some 70s. So we'll have some low 70s, but a lot of sunshine for most of the day. Then and later on this afternoon, it'll be like that early evening, late, late afternoon. We could see some more upper level clouds return to Southern California. 63 for the beaches. Those mountain areas are going to make it up to about 50. The high deserts, just about 64 degrees today and uh, not looking too bad. We have a big warm up coming around here in Southern California over the weekend. I'll show you that coming up in a little bit. Brianna Ruffel is in taking a look at traffic. Good morning. Good morning. It's not too bad out there, so it's been pretty easy so far. We'll just take a quick look at some of your drive times. You can see a whole lot of green out there, so we're really not seeing too many delays. If you take the 105 westbound from the Norwalk area, the 605 over toward LAX, you're looking at speeds right around 70, about a 15 minute commute there, and then the 91 westbound Riverside to Anaheim, about 30 minutes. All right, let's get a live look outside and see what your drive looks like out into the city of Commerce. This is on the 5 southbound at the 710 connector, and you can see uh, southbound and northbound. They are moving right along at the moment. We will have another check coming up in just a little bit, guys. I'll send it back to you for now. Much chaos and tragedy in Thousand Oaks after a stabbing suspect plowed into a group of teenagers right outside their high school. A 15-year-old boy was killed in yesterday's crash. Three other students were injured. Police say that the suspect's crime spree began earlier in the afternoon when the suspect stabbed an employee at a Walmart in Simi Valley. Later, he got into a domestic dispute at his parents' home in Camarillo. And then after that, he crashed into those students at Westlake High School. We spoke with one sophomore who almost got hit. I was walking with friends and I think I was turned around at that moment and then the next moment I think I hear like very loud tire screeching and then um, you know it sounds like a car's on a sidewalk and then I hear people screaming and running. Police say the suspect, 24-year-old Austin Ice, was also injured and taken to the hospital. A vigil for the victims is planned for 6 o'clock tonight at nearby Calvary Community Church. Well, people in Compton are demanding action after a gas station was looted following a slew of street takeovers last weekend. Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz live in Compton with those details. Irene. Well, John, this gas station behind me was a wild and crazy scene over the weekend. Sheriff's deputies say they'll be cracking down, stepping up patrols. But in the meantime, residents here in Compton have been telling city leaders they're extremely frustrated. I live close enough to Alondra and Central to smell the rubber when they do those takeovers. Every single house on Central Corner House has got hit from them street racers running from the police every house drive down central and see them gates knocked down how are you guys okay with that 
Yeah, you can hear the anger in their voices there. Residents say those responsible in this video are outsiders, people who don't even live in Compton, but are just recording for social media clout. This was the end of a wild night in Compton near Alondra and Central. This Arco gas station convenience store looted and trashed, all while a store clerk hid in a bathroom. It all started with a street takeover nearby. The LA County Sheriff's Department says they'll be stepping up patrols. I can't speak about everything that would, that is going to be uh, how we're going to handle it because that, that would be tipping my hand as far as our tactics and our approach. But you will see enforcement. You will see numerous cars out there in the field and you will see results. We're not going to tolerate any more street takeovers and we're not going to definitely tolerate the looting. Yeah, this is just one example of many street takeovers and flash mob burglaries that we have seen this past weekend in Compton. In terms of this case, there was only one arrest made, so law enforcement officials are now asking for the public's help in identifying people in that video that's now gone viral. Reporting live in Compton, Irene Cruz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Irene, thank you. The trial for the man accused of starting the 2018 Holy Fire continues today. Alleged threats made by Forrest Clark towards his neighbor at the center of the arson trial. Investigators say a long-running dispute between the two neighbors led to Clark allegedly igniting the fire. The Holy Fire burned more than 23,000 acres and destroyed 18 structures through Orange and Riverside counties. If convicted, Clark faces life in prison. An Orange County woman has been sentenced to nearly 22 years in prison for her role in killing a marijuana dealer on a boat. 42-year-old Sheila Ritz was convicted of second-degree murder for the October 2019 death of Tree James Dow. Prosecutors say that Ritz and an accomplice took Dow out for a fishing excursion where he was shot and thrown overboard. Ritz was sentenced to 262 months in federal prison. The accomplice is set to be sentenced in July for first-degree murder. The U.S. Supreme Court expected to weigh in today on the availability of an abortion pill. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera joins us live with those details. Tony. John, the decision expected later today comes nearly a year after the Supreme Court jumped into the abortion debate reversing Roe v. Wade. Back then, it was about giving states the choice to ban abortion. Now, the high court could be deciding on a specific drug, mifepristone, a pill that's used in more than half of the abortions in the U.S. A ruling could take it off the market, even if states are having it as illegal. Supporters of the ban say chemical abortion drugs pose serious health and safety risk. They say the FDA has ignored these concerns and made it even easier to access through telehealth and through the mail. Those against the ban say the pill has been around for more than 20 years and that there is more of a risk with other medical procedures. The Texas case was filed by abortion opponents back in November. Lower courts ruled to restrict the pill or ban it altogether, but it quickly rushed up to the Supreme Court after the Biden administration and the drug's maker appealed the rulings. Now the high court has until the end of the day to decide on how to move forward. To clarify, the Supreme Court has not heard the case. It's only making a decision on how to move forward. That could mean blocking the ruling for now or letting it stand until they hear the case. But typically the high court will not take a case until an appeals court has examined it. Rachel, back to you. Okay, Tony, good to know. And the ruling today comes as Governor Gavin Newsom announced new efforts to protect access to abortion medications here in California. They include protecting pharmacists who dispense mifepristone, even if the Supreme Court does suspend the drug's FDA approval. The governor says the state will also protect the privacy of patients and providers concerning reproductive health care. Yesterday's announcement comes on the heels of the state saying it created an emergency stockpile of the abortion drug misoprostol. All right. Hey, good morning. This is what it looks like today. We're expiring with those wind advisories, so most areas are dealing with some calmer conditions, finally. We're back to, it looks like, those 70s. If you're traveling out towards areas of the valley communities, we have a whole lot of sunshine expected today, too. So it should be really nice throughout Southern California. I hope you get out and enjoy some of this really great weather. However, the heat is going to be on. So if you've been waiting for some hot temperatures in Southern California, not too long from now, we're going to be dealing with 90-degree temperatures in some of our valleys and our inland areas. So enjoy the nice 70s. It's pretty perfect.
perfect today. 70 degrees out in downtown Los Angeles. A little bit of a breeze kicking up. 67 into inland Orange County. And if you are traveling out towards the coastline today, it's going to be 65. 51 in the mountains. 65 in the high desert. In the low desert. Sitting about 82 degrees and lovely today. All right. More to come in a full forecast. I'll show you the warmer weather coming around in a little bit. Over to you guys. All right. Les, thank you. Fox News will have to pay out a groundbreaking settlement averting its defamation trial. We have reaction.